Welcome to Spoken Reviews, home of the Spoken Reviews. Today, guys, we're doing a one-year review of the Fossil 5th Gen smartwatch. So the 5th Gen Fossil smartwatch has been out for a year, a little bit over a year, and I've had it about uh, almost a year, maybe a year next month. Uh, I rotate smartwatches and smart devices, uh, but this watch is always one that I seem to come back to. Uh, and I really think the a year w having it, the big difference in this watch versus a lot of the other smartwatches is just the fact that Fossil is a watch company uh, making a smartwatch versus other companies or tech companies trying to get into making a smartwatch. So that seems a little weird, but that's kind of the big difference. Uh, it's the style. Uh, this watch really looks like a normal watch. Uh, to most people and they don't really know it's a smartwatch until uh, you know it lights up or you start you know checking messages on it so that's probably one of the big reasons why i like it so much it's just easy to use and it's really good looking so last year in 2020 i was hoping that fossil would upgrade this watch but they didn't they actually just kind of lowered the price and they actually made a lower cheaper version of it but they didn't actually upgrade the specs in the watch and honestly i can say uh, after having the watch for over a year that really the specs are just fine and I get why they didn't have to upgrade the watch. Um, the watch works great. I still think the screen is really really good. It's one of my favorite screens of smartwatch. Uh, the, there's two things that I would kind of call as a, uh, a knock on this watch. Um, as you can see you do have the, the black bezel which is the, the way they designed it and the LCD technology they're using. They have to have that black bezel. I, I don't like that. And then the second thing, which is a big thing for me, is I, don't, I can't always get through the full day on a battery charge. So for a lot of people, that could be a, a deal breaker. Uh, some people, if you lower the, the screen brightness, you can get through a full day. But I like mine uh, very bright. And because of that, I really can't always get through a full day. So sometimes I, I get to like seven o'clock uh, in the evenings and then it dies with me um but it's it's still pretty solid but there are other competitors out there that can get you to a full day but again those are the only two things that i don't like about it again the black bezel and the battery life but besides that everything else i really do love about this watch so i do want to kind of show you guys some of the uh the really cool uh watch face that you have uh that's one of the cool things about fossil is they have a ton of really, really good looking uh, watches. So you can kind of see the different options you have. And also in the year that I've had this watch, there's been, uh, there was a pretty major Google uh, Wear update, which really kind of helped bring this watch uh, to the next level. But again, uh, just the design and the sleekness that you have the ability uh, to be able to, to to use this watch in pretty much any situation, uh, whether working out, whether at work, whether going out for drinks, uh, it's really helpful. Uh, one thing that I've noticed that's been really really useful is ever since our wife, our son, he's almost two, ever since having a kid, uh, just having a smart watch to be able to kind of quickly see notifications and not pull out your phone every time, been really helpful. Also uh, during COVID quarantines you spend so much time at home that it's nice not really having your phone on you all the time just to be able to kind of quickly glance at your watch and see whatever's going on so those are the, some of the pros that i've seen uh with the watch uh just as a as a new father and also just being at home a lot uh it kind of just enables you to kind of detach from some stuff uh, and not be fully connected to your phone uh the one cool thing is also you can kind of filter your notifications so if you don't want to get notifications and everything you don't have to uh, you can pick which ones you get. Uh, but again, a year later having this watch, and I rotate the watches, but I use this as my primary uh, watch. I can say, hey, you know, I haven't seen any slowdowns in speed. I haven't had any issues with storage on the, on the memory. Um, it's, it's, it's a solid watch, and I could still recommend this one. And they have some really good sales on this one. Uh, most recently, Amazon had this for like 180 so I think this originally was like two, actually three fifty, uh, but it's down to under two hundred bucks. So you can get it on Amazon. Um, Best Buy's had different uh, runs on this too, 
And really, I mean, like when you look at the aesthetics, as I'm going to kind of show you, it's pretty amazing. Now, they did save a little money with having a plastic back here, and they could have done an all-metal back, but in some ways it's more comfortable because the when you have the metal back, you can get kind of cold and sometimes uncomfortable. Um, but, yeah, I, again, a, a year with having this and pretty much wearing it, uh, you know, I'd say 70% of the, of the last year, this is a winner and I would highly recommend it. Uh, again, the tech, you're going to get the best with the Google Wear and the updates come to this pretty quickly. So when Google Wear has an update, you're going to get this quicker. Uh, I do wish that Google, uh, would be a little more robust with the updates, uh, and to kind of have a, at least a guaranteed yearly update, but even sometimes even more than that just to kind of keep the software uh, fresh. Uh, but again, yeah, this is this is the one. Uh, I am looking at getting a, a Samsung uh, Galaxy Watch because I do use a Samsung phone as my primary. So I will be getting that and comparing that one. But I will say that if people are looking for a watch and they are curious about the Fossil 5th Gen, it's still a winner. Um, I will warn you that they probably will be releasing a 6th gen in 2021, uh, so beware of that. But again, that watch is going to probably retail for $350 to $400 bucks, uh, versus this one is a lot cheaper. And you're probably going to get 90% of the same thing. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this quick one-year review of the Fossil 5th gen. Hopefully it was helpful for you guys. Uh, once again, fantastic watch. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you like the video, hit the like button for me. If you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and hit the sub channel, guys. Thanks a lot, and have a great day.